So you might be trying to figure out how you can turn on or off auto correction on your iPhone. Now doing this is actually very basic, but you do have to understand if you turn off auto correct, that will not correct anything that you're typing. So you may not want to turn it off completely, but you may just want to turn off some of the auto corrections that happen. And I'll show you how to do that too. So what you want to do is make your way over to any sort of text block like this. On All you want to do once the keyboard is popped up, you want to go and click and hold down on the bottom left, which is where that emoji is. And then you want to go and click on keyboard settings. So then you'll come straight into your keyboard settings here. Now, if you just want to turn off auto correction, like you don't want to go ahead and manage it, this little, the second option here, which says auto correction, all you're going to want to do is go ahead and just toggle that off. So go ahead and just toggle that auto correction off. And now if you go and, you know, go back, if you start typing and whatever, it's not going to auto correct. It's still going to throw you like that red dot sometimes, but that's it. You know, that's pretty much how it's going to be. There's not going to be any auto correction. It's still going to tell you things down here. But if you want to go ahead and fix your auto correction, what I'd recommend doing is just keeping auto correction on, go to text replacement. So this is where you can go and customize a lot of your auto correction. So if you don't want to have it auto correct you on my way, what you can do is just click edit and you can just delete this one by clicking that delete button. Or you can also just click the plus button up here and you can add your own auto correction here as well. So if by accident, every time you type in someone's name, it just goes back and whatever, well, there's a few things you can add it to text replacement or what you can do is click on that text right here and sometimes you should be able to add that specific text into your library of some sorts but if not what you can do is just go ahead basically just add it to your text replacement and it'll basically save it there so those are pretty much a few different ways to do it if you have any other thoughts or questions let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that'll be so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then Thank you.